This is a free Excel weekly planner template that you can download from my Contextures website. It has conditional formatting that lets you show these lines in the day section and in the week to do list or hide the lines. I'll show you how to change those settings and how the conditional formatting is set up. This is Deborah Dalgleish from Contextures.com. In the weekly planner, each day is divided into three sections. There is a heading at the top of the section and a border above that heading. If we go to the setup sheet, here are three boxes where you can type in a heading that you'd prefer, or you can leave a heading blank. So right now the second section is called Appointments Today. And I'm going to select that cell and clear it. Now that should remove that heading and also the dividing line above it. So if I go back to week plan, there's the first section. The second section has disappeared and the third section is still there. So that's done with conditional formatting. And I'll go back here and take out this second one by deleting the contents of that cell. And now we just have one big cell where you could put things in. This template is designed to be printed and then make notes during the day rather than working with it in Excel. We also have lines here in the week to do list and we can change that setting as well. Right now we have three rows and then a dividing line, three more and a dividing line and so on down to the end. If I go to the setup sheet, there is a to do lines which is triple spaced. I could select single spaced and now we've got lots of lines in there or I could select none and then we just have a large empty box to put notes in. I'm back on the setup sheet and I've put headings in for each of the three sections and we're going to go and see how the conditional formatting works for those section headings and the dividing lines. On the week plan the sheet is protected with no password. And that's just to protect the formulas. To remove the protection, go to Review and Unprotect Sheet. For these cells, for Section 2 and Section 3, I'm going to press Control and select those as well. I'm going to the Home tab, click Conditional Formatting, and Manage Rules. And in here, we can see the existing formula for those cells. I'll select that and edit rule. So it's a very simple formula. So it's equal C16, which is the first cell in the group of cells with conditional formatting, and equals, and then two double quotes for an empty string. So if this cell contains an empty string, we've cleared out that heading, then we want something to happen. And I click Format here, and on the Border tab, there's no border. The others have border lines, but there's nothing here. And then I click OK, and OK, and OK again. So now, as long as there's something in this cell, that line will appear. But if we go back to Setup and Clear by pressing Delete, that borderline disappears. I'm back on the setup sheet and for to-do lines I've selected double spaced. So if I go to the week plan sheet we've got two lines and then a border, two more lines and a border. This is a little more complicated to set up because we have several options for the line settings. So to set up conditional formatting I've added some formulas in hidden columns I'm going to unhide and we can see over here false and there's no line there, true and there is a line. In the column beside I'm just creating a series of numbers with equals sum whatever's in the cell above and one. So this one there's nothing above it so it's one, two and all the way down to 24. This formula checks the number in this cell which is L12 and it's also checking something called to do lines ID and we're going to see what that is. So over on the admin sheet 
we have our list of options and I've typed a number for each of these. So if you've selected none, the ID is zero, double spaced is one, two and three. And up here, there's a formula that finds what you selected on the setup sheet and then uses an index match formula. The match function looks for this value that's in B3 within this lines list and it's looking for an exact match. And then the index function returns the line ID from that row. And that is a cell named to do lines ID. So that's what we're going to use in this formula here. We're checking the number here and the ID right now is two. The mod function divides this number by the two for our line ID and there's no remainder. So in that case, mod, which returns the remainder would be equal to zero. But in the next cell where we're dividing three by two, there's a remainder of one. So this is false, mod does not equal zero. And if I go back to setup and change it to triple spaced, we look at our formulas now, we have false, false and true. So three divided by three, no remainder. Four divided by three, there's a remainder, so we have a false. And then with conditional formatting, all of these cells are selected. And I'll scroll up so we can see the first of the formulas, which is in row 12. Then go to conditional formatting, manage rules. Here's the rule, so select that, edit rule. And it has another simple formula because we had the worksheets doing all the hard calculations. So we're just going to check and see if K12 is true. And if it is, we'll format that with a bottom border. Click OK and OK and OK. So now anywhere it's true here, there's a bottom border. So that's how we use conditional formatting in this weekly planner template to show or hide lines. Thanks for watching this video. You can go to my website, contextures.com to get this workbook and please subscribe to my Contextures YouTube channel so you can see the latest videos as I post them.